What's going on guys? It's Coach Ian here with Legacy Endurance, helping you run further faster and more focused than this week. I'm going to talk to you all about hydration belts. Let's drink up. All right, guys, so we're talking about hydration belts this week, and I'm going to give you a few things to think about if you're going to buy one, if you're going to use one, some things you might want to consider, and then I'm going to show you the brand that I love the most. So first of all, hydration belts, when do you want to use them? Well, for me, rule of thumb is for longer runs, if I'm going to be an hour or more, I'm going to definitely take some hydration with you. I'm going to be taking some fluids, might be water, might be Gatorade, um, electrolyte drink, something like that. So for me, longer runs or hotter days, I'm definitely going to stay hydrated. I'm going to carry a belt. Now there's multiple different kinds of belts you'll find out there. There's there's stuff like this. This is a Nathan belt. This is one that sort of sits on your back. You can put a fairly good sized bottle in this. Um, it's kind of nice because it actually sits behind you and it's it's um, fairly steady on you. It's not too bad. I don't mind this one actually. This one I like to carry if I'm taking a lot to drink. So this is a Nathan belt. Um, you've probably seen this kind of belt in the, out there and you've maybe even used something like this. This is one that has like multiple bottle holders on it. There's like some with two or three or four. When you wear it, you feel like you're Superman because you got this crazy green belt with all sorts of stuff on it. But for me, the most important things if I'm picking a hydration belt is I want to be able to carry fluid. I want to be able to carry enough, but I don't want to have this big, huge, bulky thing. I want to make sure that whatever I'm carrying doesn't rub, doesn't chafe, doesn't sort of irritate on your hips, your stomach, wherever you're going to, you know, across the waistline when you're wearing it. And the other thing is bounce. There's nothing that drives me more crazy than if your hydration belt is bouncing and it's just sloshing around, you feel like it's just awkward. So the brand that I have actually loved the most and what I'll um, share with you guys and give you my personal opinion on is the Fitletic belts. So they have multiple configurations in the Fitletic hydration belts. And what I really like about them is they are super comfortable. I don't have a huge waist. They sit on me perfectly. Uh, they don't bounce. They stay super solid, which is super nice. And that's like really key for me. And like I say, they have different ways you can configure them. They come up with a whole bunch of different setups and most of them have room for your cell phone. Um, so for me, longer runs, I like to take my phone, pop in the tunes. Um, just have my phone as well, just for safety reasons when I'm out on a longer run. So I love the Fitletic stuff. So the two that I have, and I'll link up below for you. So if you want to grab your own, there'll be a link below where you can grab them and find them. There's, like I say, there's multiple different kinds, but I'll link up the ones that I have so you can actually check them out yourself. But I have two. So this first one here is um, is a Fitletic one where it's got two different uh, sort of cups holders or bottle holders on the side. So you can zip it up and then the bottles going on like each side so you can carry one you can carry two or if you don't even want to carry anything you can zip them right up or if you're done you throw the bottle away you can zip these back up and you're not carrying your bottles away so these these bottles sit on the front um, you've got space for your cell phone in the front and of course you've got also uh, these little guys here where you for, if you're in a race for example you could put your race bib on these and it holds it at your waist not on your chest so that's actually kind of a nice thing I, I usually do that when I'm racing if I'm wearing a hydration belt so what I like about this particular one is I can stick two Gatorade bottles in this or or thermoses or whatever I'm carrying, water bottles. You can carry a lot of fluid on this. And the way the bottles sit, they don't get in the way. They're in front of you. They're not awkward. They're convenient to grab. They're easy to get in and out of. And they, they're really nice because you can swing your arms real easy around this guy. So this one is actually one of the ones I like. And like I say, you can carry a ton of fluid with this particular model. The second one I have is, is similar, but it's a little bit lower, a little bit less sort of hydration. But it's nice because it comes with a little, I don't know, 16 ounce bottle, whatever you can stick in here on the side and sort of the same setup, a place for your cell phone in the front and the bottle on the side. So this would be sort of a, a shorter run for me if I'm not wanting to carry tons and tons of fluid. This might be a, this is one I carry out quite a bit. So the Fitletic stuff is fantastic. Like I say, it's great because it doesn't bounce, it doesn't chafe, sits super comfortable. They're not expensive. These are a great investment. Um, and like I say, these are really, really uh, probably the best ones I've tried and I've tried Hundreds, well, that's an ex I'm exaggerating. That's a lie. I haven't tried hundreds, but I've tried a lot because I really like to carry fluid on my long runs. And I like to have stuff, but I don't want to always carry something big. And I've seen people running with these big hydration vests, and it's just kind of bulky. I do sometimes too, but for the most part, I like a, I like a belt because it's not so so much to carry around, especially in the summertime when you're running. So the Fitletic stuff is fantastic. 
I find that I carry an iPhone 8. My phone fits in here perfect. I know some of the bigger phones you might have to take off the case if you've got a big bulky phone case or phone cover. You might have to take that out, but for long runs, for when you're carrying hydration, I don't think you can find anything better than the Fitletic belt. So um, just wanted to give you guys my two cents on that. I think they're great. Again, I'll link those up below for you so you can check them out. And I also like to comment, what do you find, what are you carrying right now when you're running? Are you drinking water? Are you drinking Gatorade? Are you drinking noon? Are you drinking, what are you drinking? <laughs> what are you drinking? I'd love to hear what you're doing from a hydration perspective. I have a few different things that I like to drink with in an upcoming review. I'll give you some different examples, but comment below. Let me know what you're taking out for hydration. How's it working for you? And how are you managing through the summer when you're hydrating through long runs and any time for that matter? So comment below. I'd also love it if you subscribe to the channel. Give me the thumbs up, like it, track with us, and we give reviews and tips and all sorts of advice every single week. So thanks for watching this week, you guys. Check out the links below, and we'll see you guys next week.